Hi. Uh, on my Windows laptop, I have installed Lazarus IDE, a uh, Pascal integrated development environment thing. I don't want to see how this behaves on Linux. Huh? So, let's see if we will find something. So, there is Lazarus, Delphi like IDE, and then a different versions. Aha. Qt6, GTK2, common files. Actually, I don't know exactly. I think that um, that my my desktop environment when he uses Qt, you see Qt version 6.7, this KDE thing. So we need something with Qt. Okay, so let, let's look this. So we will for Qt version this one. So we we'll use this one. Okay, copy. Okay, let's install this one then. Okay, and let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, mach mal. I'm having dinner in parallel, can you imagine? And I'm looking Olympia in France. May the best will win, huh? Look at these Pac-Man things, these are cool, huh? It will be a real-time video. Not for teaching somebody, because I don't have any clue about this, but maybe for inspiring. Feel inspired. Also installing a GNOME debugger, and this is free Pascal compiler. So this thing uses free Pascal, and I think, as I understood from my research, uh, two hours long, huh. that it is also a kind of object Pascal. And this is needed for Lazarus because it looks like Delphi with widgets, with co components. Okay, don't need this anymore. Let's see Lazar. Ah, there, there is the Lazarus IDE. See? Okay, let's click on it. Aha. Thank you for your OS Arch Linux. Is FP debug internal valve debugger? Create a new recommended backend. I don't know. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Internal is always good. Okay, IDE is starting. Okay. Aha. See? It's an interesting arrangement of these windows. Uh, it's not looking like Delphi at the first glance. But maybe, ah, you see, if we move this one, and this one here, ah, now it's looking like Delphi, something like this. Can we connect this together? No. Aha, you see, there is, mm -hmm. okay, so this is the main form, but it's so huge, why? It does not need to be so huge, aha. Oh, no, this is bad. We can't, we can we? No, we can't. We can't uh, stick it to somewhere. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. And then it goes inside on here. Doesn't matter. Okay. And this is the editor field. Okay. But this also does not need to be so big. Like this. And that's the form. Okay. Okay. Aha. Okay. Let's see. 
uh, about I don't know I, I think in, in 19 let's let's think 93 94 uh, yes I think above about 1994 30 years ago I was at school and we used um, Borland um, C++ builder and it looked act actually like this but per default it was a little bit nice or organized but it, it doesn't matter right and and this Borland C++ builder was a C++ thing but the code has been converted to Pascal and then compiled and on here the underlying thing is Pascal so let's do let and, and on here some, some are some uh, attributes and values of this object on here and it looks is there a night mode or what is it uh, is there something with colors or uh, leaks aha uh -huh. okay no. No settings? No. No, no. No settings because it's it it's so dark. This thing is so dark. It's too dark. I don't know. Is it is a project settings? No, it should be on here somewhere, right? Ah, here settings. So color. Or theme? No. Hmm. Allgemein. Sprache, Automatik. Editor, als Farben. Ein Objekt Pascal. But there is no theming somehow. But mm, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So. And here we can change color of this object on here, this form. There is a color. We can select another color. Let's make orange. Orange is cool. Okay. And then on here are components. We can put on in. We can put um, a label. A label. Like this. And this object we can name or oh, we can first give a, a caption this is what is written on hello others and we can also use another font no 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 it doesn't matter okay Hello Lazarus. And the idea is from here, this object has a name. Where which we can use programmatically to access it. And we will make LBL for label and then label greeting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and there's something toggle to see. It's automatically regenerating and writing the code, label greeting. Okay, now we can click on this play button. Oh, maybe we should save this stuff. Okay, uh, is there a project save? No, it's project. Ah, here, project save. Okay, so <coughs> let's make on here a folder. Lazarus. Let's make a folder. Paste one for YouTube. Uh, name test one and we will save ah now these are the pascal files okay you need one okay it's organized in units okay and now we can play press play and it asks us dwarf run with no debug compiling something oh look at this isn't this nice we have a program on Linux 
a native a native one this is cool okay can you stop this yes okay Oh god, oh god, this was a bad idea to move it down. Okay. Let's make a button on here. Let's change the caption. Click me. If you're there. Oh, uh, spelling. Because I cannot see it, the contrast is not good. Click me if you dare. And the idea is to, to put on here a on click event. On click, you see. And then it created an on click event. And now we can refer to this label greeting. Label greeting caption. And this is Pascal, so this is the assignment. Press now on play. Click me if you dare. You are brave. Huh? Isn't this this is really fast? Yeah? Fast development. Rapid application development huh? is the credo of this type of things on there. However, I don't know if this is so useful if we are programming boring applications. You know, this this stuff we are querying a database and then putting a table out or something. Ne? This is boring. Yeah? There, there is no processing power needed so much. Yeah? So web applications are better for such applications. But <coughs> these type of things which are compiled and running natively on a machine, these are called if you have processing, if, if you need to process something. Yeah? work with, with, with huge data or if you want to make some calculating some numerical simulations or something then it's cool yeah, yeah so I think there are also graph objects or something like a canvas but I don't know if, if this is this thing here oh there is no tooltip hmm. This is bad. Okay, so we need to try it out. Anyway, please share me your thoughts about native compiled applications in comparison to web-based applications. That would be cool. Hope you enjoyed. Let's start this thing once more and then stop the video Ta -da. click me if you dare you are brave okay have a nice day